Hi guys, today's video I'll be sharing ways to master oversized clothing on a petite body type. So I have 11 different tips for you guys. I'll be sharing examples on myself and just some quick tips on how to pull off more oversized pieces. These tips are truly incredible. I've learned these throughout the years of styling and dressing myself and finding ways to flatter my body type so i'm just so excited to share these tips with you guys let's go ahead and dive right in first three tips we're just going to get over it real quickly a lot of these tips i have to share with more oversized outerwear pieces but the first thing is i want to share a couple examples so i have these two outerwear pieces on i want to share these tips on two different coats because i feel like with the black outerwear piece it's a little bit hard to tell these changes whereas the camel coat it's lighter in color Color, you can notice the differences more easily with this one so I'll have them side by side here so first thing is if the sleeves are too long it's going to look really frumpy on your frame so obviously a simple quick trick with that is just to cuff your sleeves next thing is when you're wearing an oversized outerwear piece like this you want to at least make sure the seams on the shoulders fit well if you can get that part right the seams on the shoulders then you, the outerwear piece already looks so fabulous on you because it fits you the seams so that's another tip the next thing is you want to make sure you have a flattering waistline in the outerwear piece so with these two jackets you can see that on the before it definitely looks bulky frumpy and oversized now i always look for outerwear pieces that are oversized like this that come with a belt that's a huge plus if you can find one with a belt i love these two jackets they're linked down below if you want to check them out but the belt is a huge plus because you could tie it in the back, make a cute bow back there. It will cinch in, define your waist a little bit, but you'll still get that flowy, drapey look with your outerwear piece, which is oftentimes what we strive for. So those are three quick tips on how to make an oversized outerwear piece like this look absolutely fabulous on you. The next tip I want to point out is the lapels. So ideally you would want the end of the lapel or the button closure to hit at your natural waistline. So you can see here in the black and the camel colored one, the end of the lapel hits at my natural waistline, which creates a incredibly flattering silhouette this way. This in return makes it look like the outerwear piece is made for you. Now, not all outerwear pieces have this where the end of the lapel hits at the natural waistline. So ideally you would like it to hit at that point, but if it doesn't, I don't think it ruins the outfit. I have outerwear pieces that obviously they do hit on my natural waistline the lapel and I have outerwear pieces that don't do that and still look great I'll show a few examples here in the clips uh, I still think they look great you just want to make sure it fits everywhere else it's not too bulky oversized in the body you want to make sure the shoulder seam is good the sleeve length is good as well cuff it if you need to tip number five is consider wearing a belt when you're wearing oversized outerwear pieces like this so the trick is to help you pull off outerwear pieces like this is the previous tips I mentioned also you want to make sure you show shape so if you're wearing an oversized outerwear piece like this you want to make sure you define your waistline draw the attention there because that is the smallest point it always looks very feminine and very flattering when you highlight this area so a great way to do that is with a belt so i styled it with this outfit with the light wash jeans my black top and the belt and this belt i believe comes in a three or four pack from amazon such a good classic essential piece accessory to have in your wardrobe and i highly recommend when you are adding a belt to your outfit especially if you're petite have the belt either match in color of the outerwear piece or of your sweater so in this specifically i actually have the belt matching in color to my top and my outerwear piece so i'm wearing a black belt and then you see that gold hardware in the center of it which really draws your eyes to the waistline and it creates a really flattering look this way number six is you want to make sure you choose the correct fabric so if you go for fabrics that are really bulky and really chunky oversized also this will definitely look really frumpy and it makes it a lot harder to style these pieces and with tops specifically it makes it harder to tuck them in so i do recommend when you are choosing oversized outerwear pieces pick the right fabrics make sure they're not super 
chunky and bulky and oversized. It is so much easier to style oversized pieces that are a little bit thinner and more drapey. So like this sweater that I'm wearing, this is the Leontine Pullover by Cezanne. And this is an oversized piece, clearly you can tell, but it is thinner and more drapey. So it doesn't make it look frumpy on me. And I also have this open neckline, which also helps pull off an oversized piece like this. And as you can tell with these longer, bigger outerwear pieces that I shared today, they are not bulky. Okay, so they are more of like a top coat. I would say the black one is more of a top coat. The camel colored one is thicker, but it's not bulky. So it doesn't look frumpy on me as long as I do the tweaks that are necessary to the outerwear piece. And if you are going to choose like a thicker wool blended coat, go for something that is more structured and tailored, like a few examples here that I mentioned. These outerwear pieces are a lot thicker and they work well for me because they're more tailored in structure. These are not an oversized fit, whereas the black one and the camel colored one, these are an oversized fit. However, the fabric of it is thinner, so it does not look frumpy on me. Number seven, another way I love to pull off oversized pieces is pairing my oversized pieces with something that is structured and tailored. So here's an outfit example. I have the Leontine pullover on with my navy trousers. These navy trousers are definitely more structured, tailored, and I think pairing something like this with maybe an oversized sweater like I'm wearing looks absolutely fabulous. So you can obviously pair this sweater with like skinny jeans, but I also love pairing it with structured pants. I believe you will have a very flattering, amazing, beautiful outfit this way because you still have balance going on. The pants are not super big or oversized. They're a slim tapered style, so a little bit looser, but they're tailored. So they fit and look like they're made for me and then you pair it with something more loose or oversized like this you'll have a balanced outfit that looks incredibly flattering tip number eight is when you are wearing a wider leg jean something baggier oversized i recommend opt for an ankle booty with a slimmer stretchier shaft so like a sock booty you'll notice that in previous videos when i'm styling oversized pieces almost <laughs> every outfit i'm wearing a sock booty because this really helps create balance so let me show a side by side before and after with this outfit specifically so i'm wearing these paper bag waist pants one example i'm wearing it with my combat chelsea boots now this doesn't look terrible i just have to point out it doesn't look terrible i still think it looks fine um but i do think it can look better so a way i swapped this outfit is with different booties so i have two options so i have a skinnier sock booty the black ones here this helps balance out the wider jean or i have this ankle booty that's not as slim in the shaft but it's still slimmer than the chelsea boot i had on but it does match the pant color so you kind of have that monochromatic look going on and makes my legs look longer so i think in this example both of these shoes do work for this and when you are wearing an oversized jean like this, especially for the fall and winter time, obviously you can wear these pants with other shoes that I've shared in previous videos, but for fall specifically and winter, balancing it out with a sock booty that has a stretchy slim shaft will really highlight the skinny part of the ankle, balance out the look, and look incredibly flattering. So the next tip is adding a heel. I've shared this many times, but it really does help balance out your outfit when you're wearing oversized oversized pieces and just create such a flattering outfit this way and I think this works whether you're wearing oversized pieces or more fitted pieces just in general when you're shorter adding that extra height just makes us pull off almost everything and just make it look so much better on our body type but tip number 10 scarves i always get questions about scarves how to wear them what to wear i feel like scarves can easily look frumpy when you're shorter so me personally i really like wearing like the rib knit scarves but not too chunky there has to be a balance so the amazon ones that i've shared many times i have it in the clips here these are great because they're not too chunky where it looks frumpy but they're not thin where they feel really cheap uh they're just that great in between so normally i would wear it over my shoulders have it just draped down i think it looks amazing this way or i'll just wrap it around my neck and think it looks great this way too so the last and final tip tip number 11 is don't go overboard when you're styling oversized outerwear pieces just wanted to end it with this one because it's really easy to either pull off these pieces or just 
easily make it look so frumpy. So really just pay attention to what you're styling, how you're styling it together. And I do think petites can pull off maybe several oversized pieces in one outfit, like I've shared several examples in this video. But just don't go crazy with it. Be mindful and hopefully these tips did help you guys and I hope I gave you guys really good examples on how to pair things together and how to pull off more oversized fitting pieces like this. And if I shared anything in this video, all of it is linked down below and don't forget to subscribe if you're new and I'll see you next time. Bye!